So I'm going to talk about what can be a little bit of a tricky topic for some game devs and something that a lot of people take personally and it's something you definitely shouldn't take personally and you should always keep every tool in the kit available. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be talking about what is the best game engine and yeah, what should I make my game in? Uh, it's a question I quite often see when I'm looking on like uh, beginner game dev groups or just game dev groups in general. You get a lot of questions. What game engine should I use? Um, what's the best game engine for a 2D game? What's the best game engine for a 3D game? And <laughs> it's a weird question because there's not really an answer. Like you, you can give answers and yeah, well, I suppose there are answers. It's just, it's very personal. So, okay, you wanna make a 2D game. A lot of people would say, oh, you wanna make a 2D game? Work in Unity. Um, yeah, that, seem, that seems to make sense. You've worked in Unity, you're gonna have a lot smaller file size and like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's perfectly fine for making a 2D game. But at the same time, you might want to make your game in Unreal. You, there might be some lighting effects or some, some kind of animation or something you want to do, which isn't supported in Unity and you don't have the skills to implement it yourself. Um, but that's the other thing. You can always implement features into engines. So one of the great things about Unity and Unreal is the way that they allow you to add tools. It's incredibly easy to build tools and add them into the engine. Um, and this basically makes the possibilities lim like limitless. What you can think of you can do. Um, it's like a really good quote, which is like, what you can conceive, you can achieve. And it, it kind of goes like that with game engines. If you can conceive it, there's probably a way that you can achieve it. Um, but there are some fundamental differences and there are things which might make it so you choose one engine over another. And yeah, let, let's start talking about some of them. So, what, what could some of these things be? Uh, your personal knowledge, that's a big one. So, if you already know a little bit of a game engine, use that game engine. Um, yeah, you're going to save a lot of time, you already know it, you will learn more of it as you go along, and as you get in deeper into the knowledge of that game engine, you're going to learn a lot about other game engines, because you'll be learning not just about that game engine, but fundamentally how game engines work. Um, and that's, that's incredibly useful, so sometimes just using what you know is the best option. But let's say you know nothing, or maybe you, you want to know programming and you want to start getting into more design stuff. So if, you, if like Unreal uses C++ or Blueprints and Unity uses C Sharp and any plugin or whatever you want to add into it. Um, yeah. So maybe you know C++ and you're going to want to start in Unreal. Maybe you know C Sharp and you're going to want to start in Unity. But at the same time, that shouldn't really be a determining factor because if you do know a programming language already, it's not that much harder to transition into a new language, especially if you're staying inside of the C family and you're going from C Sharp to C++. Uh, there are some confusions because some things are similar, but they're actually different. But yeah, it's generally not too hard of a transition to make. Yeah. Um, I also mentioned blueprints a second ago. It's another thing you'll see a lot in these Facebook groups is people saying, I heard that it's easier to make a game with Unreal because you don't have to do any programming because you can use blueprints. And if you don't know what a blueprint is, basically it's a node based programming system. So instead of typing everything out with words, you put down these little boxes, each box has a bit of logic, and you connect that logic to another bit of logic, and so on. And you create these branching trees of logic, um, which can run your game. And that is super awesome, and it's super cool to be able to do it visually, and it definitely can be a better way to just, yeah, visualize it all in your mind. Um, but it's not going to rule out programming in your game. It's gonna make it so that there's a lot of things which you can do a lot easier and a lot quicker with blueprints. But you'll quickly find that they don't cover everything you need to do. Um, yeah. Basically, they are confined to the nodes which are possible for them already. You can make your own custom nodes, but if you're going to be doing that, then you're going to be doing C++. Maybe you want to extend the engine to allow something else, you're going to be doing C++. So, Choosing an engine so that you don't have to do any programming, that's a flawed decision straight away because you are going to have to do programming. Um, so you should just know that 
from the get-go. But there are many other factors, so what are some others? We have pricing, for example. Um, how much are you expecting to sell your game for? How many copies do you think you'll sell? Um, that's a whole nother conversation because that's, that's something that you can look into for a very long time and still get completely wrong. Uh, so yeah, but how much money is the engine going to take and when are they going to start taking money? How much money do you need to make before the engine starts taking a cut? And what is that cut? Like, these are important questions. Um, for, for, a, for a very long time, the, the pricing has been pretty similar, um, but Epic is really shaking things up at the moment and have made it so that it's like you need to make like a million dollars or something before they even start taking a cut, which is pretty crazy. Um, so that could be a reason to use Unreal. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is something that can be very personal to people, and it's something people tend to have biases on, and it's something you should really try to avoid, because a bias on tools is just limiting what you can create. Um, personally, I, most of my experience is in Unity. Uh, the game I develop is in Unity, but I've also done some contracting work in Unreal and dabbled it in, in the sides. I try and keep everything broad, because who knows what I want to make in the future, and where I'm going to want to make it. So try and think about some of these things when you're trying to choose an engine in the future and just look into all the options. There's so many things offered out there and depending on your game depends on what you're going to want to choose. Although again, it might just come down to what you know. It really is something which is a very open topic and it just is going to come down to you. So look into all the options and determine what is the best option for you and your game. Um, yeah. Hopefully this helped a little bit. Uh, if there's anything which I didn't cover and you would like to see covered, just leave a comment below and I can make a follow up to this video because it was pretty short. Um, it was prompted because I just saw one of the many posts that I see regularly asking what game engine should I use and a heap of people just not being helpful in the comments. So I thought I would make a little video and yeah. So if you have any other questions, just ask them and I'll make a follow up.